here on the trailer, but I'm going to need a second ladder here. As you may have remembered from last year's video. Good morning and welcome. I'm Wade the Grand Streeter and you're watching the Grand Streeters. And we are starting season six. I'm inviting you to come and join me. So we're going to get the cover off the trailer. We're going to do the maintenance on the trailer, uh, including dewinterizing it. I tried this a couple of years ago and we found a broken valve and water leaking. Hopefully that didn't happen because they did a really good winterization project on it this year at Campers Inn. I was there, did the drive through and it worked really nice. Watched them do it. This year I'm going to dewinterize it, save us some bucks. So just as a reference, we do own an Imagine by Grand Design, an XLS model, MKE-17. This was, a, this was here to protect this from the rain and the snow and everything. Uh, good thing to cover your tongue jack when you're uh, winterizing. And I reach it, yes I can reach it. <laughs> Works, this flaps off. empty black tank is empty gray tank is empty that's good I guess it's time to extend the slide slide out nothing nothing behind it okay good here we go slide out Ready to begin the dewinterization process. It's a little warm in here. It is a, it is a warm day. Oh, and uh, today I'm officially 65. Yep, that's good enough for government work. Need to adjust the stabilizers again. Another important tip when you're bringing it back is here, your aerator screen. This gets crudded over every season. Take it out and clean it. Yeah. Look at all that junk in there. Yep. Clean that up. This is a good time to do it. There we go. That's much, much better. Much cleaner. Put that back in there. Okay, put my corner elbow in here so I can connect my hose a lot easier. Okay, that snugs up. Okay, then I'm going to put my water reduction, pressure reduction thing right here. There we go. 
All the prep work's done. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my fresh water tank drain valve, which I got a nice big one here. Make sure there's no pink stuff left in that tank. Yep, good. That's it. And I close that back up. The um, pump for your fresh water is underneath the stove. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to pull the drawer out from underneath the stove and then you will find the pump and the extra hose that allows the um, pink antifreeze to be loaded into your system. Just take these out. There's these little tabs here. You lift up and allows you to remove the drawer. You want to be careful not to disrupt these little bearings that are in the uh, slider arms. Okay, so here we are underneath the Furion oven and our plumbing system. Here's our water pump, and here's our, our valve is right underneath here. And I don't know if you can see it, but it is in line right now with this arm. This line here would come from your fresh water tank underneath. And this is where they input the antifreeze. And they stick it in the bucket and it sucks it up through the pump and into the system here. You know, it goes all through the, the water system. So what we're going to do before we do anything else is we need to clean out this arm. We're just going to stick that hose right in there. Okay. And then we're going to come up, we're going to come up here and we're going to turn on our water pump. We need to open a valve. Oh, we're getting some pink stuff out of here. Good. Is we are going to take this and we are going to turn this valve right here. I don't know if you, we can see it. I'm going to turn that valve so that it's in line with the water pump. I'm turning it towards the water pump. There you go. So now this line here is shut off, and this line to your fresh water tank is now active. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go fill our fresh water tank. I have my zero G hose here, which I really like and enjoy. And we're going to now put this up right in there like that. And we're gonna fill the fresh water tank. Okay, we're up to two thirds, that's good. Okay, we're gonna to continue to run water through the faucets, letting the water pump clean stuff out. We'll do hot and uh, cold and hot. Pink. That's coming out good. There. Yeah. Very good. Try some of this here. We're gonna clean it up. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that pink. That's the hot water system. Yep. There's a cold water system. Sink. It's a hot. Running clear. Cold. Any clear. Cold air. Now this is all going into my gray water tank right now. Like this, we're gonna open that up. Yep. That's the hot. And we're gonna close the hot, we're gonna do the cold. Yep, more pink coming out of there. Okay, and we're just gonna rinse it all out of the shower until it's nice and clear. Yep. Alrighty, there we go. Oh look, we got pink in the toilet too, so we want to make sure we flush out all that pink from the toilet. Okay, yep. Let it run for a good amount. Good. Now there's a couple of other ports that you need to worry about too. And these are the outside faucets. And I've got, you know, an outside faucet here for hot and cold. And I got one in the back. Now what I need to do is I need to connect the city water, hot city water, and uh, run that through the system because there's a couple extra lines that come from the city into, into, a, 
into the plumbing system and into the fresh tank. So I need to make sure that gets flushed out. Okay, we'll turn on the city water. Okay, that's holding a little drip. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn off the water pump. And we hardly ever use our water pump anyways. We mostly always connect to city water when we go camping. We never do boondocking. Adding in the hot. And, uh, and cold. The air gets through there. Now, the next step that we need to do is we need to get water back into the water heater. So, we're going to do that. Pop this off. And my plug is out. There's my plug. So, we're going to put that plug in. If I can get my fingers to work. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Nice and tight. We're gonna pop the this valve a little bit here so that when it does fill, the air will escape from here. Now, honestly, this here is the hardest part of winterizing and dewinterizing the trailer. I, When we first started, I knew I had to close certain valves to the water heater because you don't want the antifreeze going into the water heater. But I couldn't find those valves. I couldn't find where they were. They were well hidden, and um, when I studied, they said, well, they're usually right behind the water heater. And I'm like, well, the water heater's like under this cabinet in the back. How do I get to it? There's only one way to get to it. You have to remove these drawers right here. Find it. Um, so we got three valves. We've got one on the top, and we've got one on the bottom, and we got one between the two. Oh, I hear water going. And I get in here and do this bottom. There we go. Now I gotta get my arm out of here. Easier said than done, but we did get it done. Okay, so it should be filling now. We're just gonna wait for some water to start spitting out of here. And there we are, there's some water coming out. Close that, and we're good. Put that washer back in. Yeah, water heater is filled. So, dewinterization of the trailer is done, Leia. What do you think? Should we go camping now, huh? Yes, pink stuff is all out. It worked this time. It did work this time. No, no ruptured pipes or anything. And there was plenty of pink stuff. Yeah. So they did it properly. They did it properly. I've, of course, I did watch them do it last time. And uh, yeah, so we, all set, ready to go. Water Fabulous. heaters filled, piping cleared. Nice. Yep, we're good to go. Yeah, I tried this two years ago, but it hadn't been done, the winterization hadn't been done correctly, so there was a pipe that ruptured and that turned into a mess and a disaster. And, you know, panic set in and... <laughs> they it but they fixed charged. it, and they fixed it without charging us anything, so kudos to them for uh, doing that to the dealership. And this year, I saved a hundred bucks by doing it myself. So yeah, not hard to do. Now I gotta check some of the other points on the trailer, uh, but that'll be for another video, I think. So until next time. This is Rich, and I'll see you on the streets. <laughs>